Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Tuesday. If you're here with me in the Discord chat or in YouTube, go ahead and say what's up. You can see we have a position on right now. I got, I got filled just as we were uh, coming live here, trying to get a break out of our clubhouse level. Good morning to everybody. Let's see who's with us here as this market is coming right back down. We might actually hit our stop early on this one. Let's see here. Good morning to Slothfather, NQ, Wolf, Luna, Charmads, Potamus, Angus, Darren. Good morning, uh, GMC, Rettberg, Waleed, NQ, Wolf, Benji, 89. I'm looking at actually adding to this here on that little bounce. Let's see what happens here at 9.04. Good morning, Kirsten, Trade Runner, Viking Trader, Tech Maestro. Good morning, Astro Nern, Vibe Trade Channel, Deviate, SW. Good morning, Cyrus, Marco, Mel. Well, lead Matthew Spaz Trick, Georgia Dog, O'Keefe, Julius Decline, RTR, Tino, Sylvia, WD, and Mike. How are we all doing out here? We are holding above these 900s for now, so I'd probably want to be looking to potentially add into this here, which is what I'm going to do. Looking for this retest of that 918 quarters to the top side here and trying to take this uh, as high as. I mean, we have a breakout area just above 937 there, so seeing if we can time this appropriately let me see right here so yeah i came into the day with a little bit of profit but we have uh we'll be giving away a little bit of that here if we don't have this trade working out for us here uh, good morning to everybody in the youtube chat here we have kirk hoop my star tony jesse james alexander epic gamer pop pops tommy ray richard hd greg caspers jack frank ray richard charles love wetlands good morning good morning good morning to nathan Charette, Noah, good morning, RTR, Tony, good morning, Larry, Carl, hey, Carl, how you doing? Good morning, Curtis, Aldo, Big G, Dave, Big Sexy, Raymond, hey, everybody. So we are trying to uh, get this back up and over into that 918. We had a little bit of a pullback here, and we want to see uh, if we have this holding above these 900s and we find some liquidity. We had a major squeeze off the lows here, looking over at book map. We had a major squeeze here off the lows and we have now had a little bit of a pullback, seeing if we're coming back to earth here. We do have a stop right now at 893 halves. So if this does fail under 900s, that's where we're gonna get stopped out here. Uh, we are trading some top step combines on this trade right here. How many combines did I pass yesterday? Um, I didn't pass any, I don't think. I actually was uh, at my gym when that uh, when that beautiful price action hit. And uh, it was one of the very rare times where I actually uh, left my, uh, my office and ended up leaving the property. And pretty rare for me to do that, but it just so happens that it all timed perfectly, left the property and ended up uh, missing that big move to the downside, which would have been my bread and butter there it would have been a beautiful beautiful resolution on that trade but unfortunately i just didn't get that so it looks like we will get stopped out here on this trade uh do i have any script for ninja to load the mc levels i believe there is uh, something there in the miscellaneous tools i think that cargo colt was just talking about that there yesterday so it looks like we will get stopped out here to start our day in the red a little bit and i might actually uh, pull out of these combines and start trading a group of uh, other ones if we don't Get this to hold above that 93. I guess we could, you know, since we are down here at this area, maybe right below where this trend is starting at 87. Let's see if we can hold this at all. But big rejection right now, right off of that clubhouse level. Uh, definitely uh, feeling a little bit of FOMO from yesterday from not being able to trade that price action because it was just gorgeous, gorgeous price action. I mean, that's... That's my bread and butter right there, having that just sweep straight down. And I uh, I think I left right around here. <laughs> I left the property right around here. And then it was just a beautiful move straight to the downside. And then we've just been kind of in this chop. I did hit a little bit of a scalp to the downside there. And I made you know $83 of profit there uh, per account, but nothing crazy. So, I mean, just uh, to start the day, it was putting me at $333 of profit. But that will soon be erased with this trade right here that we have on that's uh, going against us right now. Uh, so yeah, if anybody caught that short off of that clubhouse level, you are sitting pretty right now. We were looking for a break out of that level and completely wrong on that one. Dakota ripped it up last night in the NKD. Yeah, I did see that. Dakota uh, has been just absolutely crushing it there. Uh, am I trading the NQ? Yes, we are trading the NQ right now. 
and looking for this to uh, bounce back up above into those 900s here. Uh, the 15 minute chart went beyond the second deviation line. Yeah, very much. Uh, Sam Sam says, Rips is trading mainly the demo account. I don't know what that means. Uh, might think about doing the same already in profit, just practice. Yeah, if you are in the profit today, it would be a good time to uh, hit that practice account. I think uh, because, you know, we might just have a range bound day here and just chop around. And uh, it looks like we're going to get stopped out here on this trade. So we will have to reframe our setup here and look for another one. We do have some data coming out here at 830, by the way. So let's see here. We do have coming out at 830. We actually have quite a bit of data. We do have. Um, let's see here. We do have the New York Fed services business activity, building permits and housing starts. We have the Red Book retail sales out at 855. We have the industrial production capacity utilization and manufacturing production out for March. And that's all coming out at 915 here. And looking like we're going to get stopped out on this pullback right now. Just waiting for this. Stop to get tickled, tickled. There we go. We just got stopped out there. So here's the uh, the lay of the land right now. Let me just show you what we're working with here. And that was uh, copied across three combines. There. There's the ones that I actually made money in and I copied across uh, four accounts there. So I'm going to be switching to trade those four accounts and see if we have uh, better luck than that. I always try to tell myself, you know, when, when the stream's about to start, it's hard to focus on everything. So it's probably not best to be taking trades. But I was really looking for that breakout there at 918 quarters there. So... It looks like we might be uh, making an excursion to the downside. Let me just switch over into my other accounts here. Getting this pulled over. And let's see if we can have any kind of liquidity down here at 873. That's the next level that we're going to be watching here. We do have this inefficiency that we might be revisiting here. I mean, that was a perfect rejection off that level. I think if we would have been you know, more focused on things, we probably would have pulled that out a little bit sooner there. Uh, yeah, great short if anybody caught that there. So I will be on uh, Top Step TV later today as well. Wow, there's some sellers on the tape here that I want to try to tussle with. There's some big, big sellers. If we flush those 73s, I mean, we are going to be coming down in a jiffy here. I'm not seeing any news to support this either, which is very, very interesting. Absolutely no news. Uh, what happened here? Wait, was I not trading the right account? Oh, I was still trading those other accounts. Dang it, I forgot to switch over. Here we go. Switching over to those accounts now. I forgot to switch. All right, now we are trading the correct accounts here. That is not what I wanted to do. Always make sure that you have your correct accounts selected there. Nice work there, Trader Page. Up, uh, looks like a thousand bucks to start off your day there. All right, so we're back to flat. Uh, Rips, have you ever had an XFA say ineligible, but it's not ineligible and still trades on Top Step X? I haven't because I haven't been using Top Step X for my XFAs. All of my XFAs trade on Ninja Traders, so I have not uh, been doing any of that myself. Uh, yeah, we do have uh, Powell speaking today. That's going to be quite important on the schedule here. Looking to see if we can actually uh, find our way to a short for this flush of 873 first. Make sure I have my right account selected here. Okay, it looks like I do, and we'll see. Always make sure that you have the right account selected from your dropdown. Uh, let's see, what do I have on my schedule today for Mr. Jerome Powell here? So Jerome Powell is gonna be at 115. There is gonna be a webcast for that. Let me go ahead and add that to my schedule here. And they're going to be speaking alongside, let's see, who do I have here scheduled? They're going to be speaking alongside uh, Macklem at the same time. Governor Macklem, Tiff Macklem. And that's a BOC governor, Bank of Canada governor there. Who may have been rescheduled, actually, now that I'm seeing that. Yeah, they're speaking a lot. Yeah, so they're, they're speaking with each other here. So Macklem and uh, Jerome Powell. And they're going to be at the North America's Wilson Center's Washington Forum. So they're both going to be in Washington, D.C. Okay, so that was a little bit of a bounce there. Just seeing if we have any more selling power. We came back into that area of liquidity down there at 75 or so. Good morning, Liquid Flows. Good morning, David. Good morning, Alfred. Luna says, I'm warming up this morning to get the new XFA if there is a good setup. Very, very nice, Luna. 
I'm excited for you to trade that thing there. Uh, Rips, is 600 enough for a day? I mean, it depends. I, I think $600 is a great day. I think it's a, a fantastic day. Hey, Rips, I passed two combines last night. I wanted to thank you for all the knowledge and positivity you spread. Awesome, American Pride. Way to go. That's That's amazing. That's some awesome trading right there. All right, let's see here at these 90s. I'm going to try entering into a short here as we are not making it back up into those 900s. And I actually want to layer this short if we have a pushback up towards that 900 here. So just locked in here looking for this push up back to 900. If we have a failure up at that 900, adding into that short there. Do your proprietary levels stay the same value for the whole day? Yes. They do. They stay the same value for the whole day, but they're updated every single day. And sometimes you'll have levels that don't change for weeks at a time and then perhaps even months at a time. All right, let's see uh, how this is received back up at 900 here. We're having a, a big bounce there off of 873. So just watching here. Okay, right into those 900s, this would be the rejection point that I'd want to short into a little bit more if we have this. Right now we are seeing a little squeezy price action there. So adding a little bit here on that tuck under 900s. Make sure I'm copying the right accounts here. So housing data is gonna be out here in about 18 minutes. And that's what we're going to be watching here. My stop's right at 904 in case we do get this little perk back up. For some reason, I could see that you were live. We go live every single morning at eight o'clock in the morning here. Uh, why is that music playing? It's muted, but it keeps coming back. I'm not sure if somebody can help Lenoxy uh, with the Discord there. Not sure what you're experiencing on your end there. Uh, what kind of music are you hearing? It might be your own computer uh, having <laughs> this Discord music. I don't hear any Discord music uh, myself, so I'm not sure what you're hearing. It might be uh, something on <laughs> on your end there. Uh, so this is uh, kind of wrestling at these 900s. I would add into this if we actually fail right here below these 900s. If you're uh, waiting for resistance at 900s, why wouldn't you wait to get closer into the 900s just in case it doesn't pump back up there? Okay, so there's that pull back down. Let's see if we can get this failure back down below 890 now. So watching here, trying to time this right. We do have a little bit of liquidity being received right there at 94s. But wanting to see if we actually get that failure to the downside here. And uh, we do have room back down to the 70s. So watching for this pull. It's very uh, scant liquidity. Pretty sc uh, scarce on the liquidity side here. So I want to try to time this appropriately. Seeing how uh, heavy it is on the offer side here is giving me that, that look that I like. Very, very thin. Very, very thin. Definitely on the, uh, the riskier side of things here. So seeing if we stay weak below these 97s, you can see a little bit of offers kind of tussling there. <laughs> There's music. And it said, you might want to start, uh, try uh, restarting Discord there. Might be a, an error with Discord. That could be the culprit that you're running into there. So there's that nice pull to the downside. I want to see if we can actually lean into this a little bit more. Watching here. I want to get through this sparse liquidity and start auctioning into those 80s here. I'm watching. There might be some 815 data. Let me see. I don't see any scheduled, but there. I hear some squawks talking about it. I think they're just off on their time. Oh, it's Canadian data. Just need one tick right here. There we go. There's the print I'm looking for. All right, sweet. Cool. So covered uh, into that like 88 area there on that pole. I noticed you were trading the N24s. When did you switch from the M24s? I don't know what that means. What is a... Uh... <laughs> we're trading the, the NASDAQ over here. 
This is uh, NQ June 2024. I don't know if we were ever trading the uh, the M. I, I've never heard of the MASDAQ. What's the MASDAQ? Oh, it's Canadian. <laughs> it sounds so dejected. <laughs> no, I don't mean it like that. I just mean it's not going to move the U.S. market all that much. That's all I really mean by that. Let's see if we can get out one contract there and move that right there. Who was uh, Pablo? Yeah, June. <laughs> right there. NQ, June 2024. <laughs> there we go. We got to stop down. So here's our new lay of the land over here. That was on those four accounts. But we're still in the hole from these three accounts that we got trading on stream here. So we'll wait for that data to come out. We'll take a little breather. We'll wait for that data to come out. But we did catch that. That nice little scalp there. Where's the Celsius? Right here. We got a watermelon this morning. Oh, you're talking about the, the month, M. Yeah, June. Yeah, we're trading the Junes. Do you know when there will be a free reset? I have no idea. <laughs> so we get, did get uh, top ticked right out of there on that range. Look at that. that top ticked on that pullback there. We are coming back down a little bit. Did anybody catch that short there? And that pushing back into the 900s? Curious. Grab that rejection at 900. Nice there, Spastric. Way to go. Yeah, there is a free reset this week. That is right. Ooh, Dr. Purple made uh, 300 bucks. Nice work there. Very, very nice. A little tropical vibe. Love to see that. So we have uh, U.S. data coming out here in about... It's like 12 minutes or so. And that should uh, definitely shake up the market here. But yeah, timing was uh, was decent on that trade. I think that we could have got a little bit better on trailing our stop, not as tight there. And maybe even uh, piling in a little bit harder there, but we had to be worried about any kind of pushback up. So the early entry before 900s is to mitigate FOMO. Yeah, that's why it's smaller size. No, not at all. Uh, it's that if we don't make it all the way up to 900, then I can uh, catch the move, right? Because if I'm waiting for 900 and it never hits, then uh, not going to get filled, right? <laughs> so it's uh, it's uh, the opening trade looking for that strength to 900, but I don't, I'm actually not Miss Cleo, <laughs> so I can't really predict what it's going to do. Uh, exactly, but I'm saying that if it gets to 900, that's where I can add aggressively, but I will take my starter before that. And if it doesn't make it all the way up to 900, guess what? We get a fill. Does that make sense there, Nick? Caught that short, dug myself out of the hole and back to scratch. Nice, Travis. There you go. Richard says, I'm hesitating like I did yesterday. If you are, then uh, just take a break. No reason to push the issue, right? <laughs> I look similar to Miss Cleo. I don't know. I think we have a different hairstyle, I would say. Probably a little bit different on the hairstyle there. <laughs> Where do you find that free reset? Uh, on Top Step TV's channel. They're going to be holding some type of fire drill probably on Friday. Late entry got 75 on three combines. I'll take it. Nice work there, Kirk. There you go. James says, I should have taken a break yesterday. What was uh, what? Uh, what makes you feel that way? I'm curious. One rip, super stoked today. Over the last two days, I managed to pass three combine accounts. Way to go there. That's awesome. Give it up for CXD Reaper. Ribs, how do you deal with revenge trading? I keep going all in. Well, there's your answer right there. If you keep going all in, stop it. <laughs> there's your answer. Don't do it. Hey, what's up, Shane? How you doing? Folks, if, uh, if you're enjoying the stream, make sure you're dropping a like on the video here. Let's see if we can nail these trades here out the gate. We have, uh, looks like we have about 1,400 of you folks watching. And we have, how many likes do we have here? Let's see. We're only at 189 likes. I'm curious, by the way, uh, are you folks able to see the like button on YouTube? Because I was watching Dakota last night and that like button was pretty hidden there. Didn't realize the video is delayed so much. Just got hit with a daily loss limit. Was only 400 away from passing. Wow. 
Uh, the one way that you can check how close you are to real time is just checking the clock right down here. This is the real market time right here. Rips, I trade NQ and past combines, but fail funded accounts. I feel like I should switch to ES or Croon. Maybe I go in too many contracts with NQ is the reason I fail funded accounts. Suggestions. Yeah, try the uh, S&P or just trade the micros for a little bit. Don't trade the minis. Rips, how do you deal with rare tilts after establishing consistency? Uh, journal and figure out what your triggers are. Simple as that. Uh, getting close with a couple hundred of passing and drop to micros and missed it three times. Maybe I should forget about the PL just trade like I did to get there. Yes, that's correct, Jim. 100% that's what you want to be doing. Never focus on how far you are away from passing because that'll be the uh, that'll be the killer right there. That'll be what uh, ends up smoking you. Ribs, can you please lobby top step for a shot clock button where you can choose how many minutes you can lock yourself out? Uh, that, I believe that, that that's one of the features that's coming soon. Yeah, I'm almost positive that's uh, coming very, very soon. Thank you, G-Wiz, for hitting that like button. Appreciate it. Can you explain where the like button is? Can't find this? I, I mean, it, I don't know. YouTube, like, changed their layout or something. I was watching Dakota's stream yesterday, and I couldn't find it either. I'm not even kidding. I'm not trying to be sarcastic here, but I don't know what YouTube is doing, but they're hiding. The, like, I don't know where they hide the like button now. It's kind of weird. <laughs> You now have to close the chat to see the like buttons. It started last week and I called it out. Much more difficult to get new people to hit the like button. Kind of got to make effort now. That's crazy. Yeah. When you're not in full screen, the like button isn't there. Okay, so maybe if it's full screen, I guess. It's hidden under chart screen in mobile. Interesting. Had to close the chat. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's weird why they did that. They made it so much harder. Let's go ahead and run a poll. We got 1,500 folks in here. Let's run a poll. Will the NQ end the day in the green or the red? Green, red, and then no clue. There we go. Now, markets are coming down here after not being able to get up above that 918 quarters level. I do think that we will probably make our way back down somewhere in that inefficiency, but we'll wait for the data first, even though I still like this to the short side there. Yeah, I don't know why YouTube would do that. That seems so strange, unless they're just trying to get rid of likes for some reason. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So the NQ is, is flat right here, by the way. NQ is practically flat. So uh, 873, this is my original target before we got slapped out of this trade right here on that <laughs> like literally the top tick right there. Super frustrating, but we're here for it. So 873s are trading through right now. We're in that precarious situation where the data is about to come out, but it's not out yet. Hello, Rips. I just got moved to live. Whoa. Never thought I would get there. Been watching for two months and has been really helping me. Thank you so much for all that you do. Nice work. Give it up for Sunny. Get moved up to live. That's no easy feat right there. And take that short. We are just coming down here, and I think that we will trade into that inefficiency. I mean, I know that we have news coming up. I know that it's not the best area to be shorting, but I got to put on some uh, put on some risk in this market here. So 873s are that area where it's kind of like that technical bounce. I'm going to move my stop up here, and I will be adding up towards that 880 level if we get up there. And you might come down to war update about retaliation. Yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, we had this tremendous bounce here in the pre-market, which I would have loved to take. I only scalped it. Like I scalped a little tiny baby, just a little baby right there for whatever it was, 80 bucks or something like that. But yeah, very, uh, very interesting price action this morning. We'll have to see what happens with this data coming out. I'm going to put on another lot here. And I'm willing to add all the way up to 880s or so. But I want to try to press into this. What news do we have today? Very good question. Uh, we do have uh, a lot of nothing news. Uh, the big news today is going to be that 52-week bill auction and then Jerome Powell speaking. But who knows what he's going to say? If he's going to save the market, he can say a lot too. I mean, he can say, uh, we're looking at three rate cuts this year, four rate cuts this year. He can say something completely out of pocket and that could change the whole uh, directionality of the market here. Hey, welcome, Darren Thompson. Welcome, Vinzen. Welcome, welcome. We are coming down a little bit here. We are below that 73 level, which I do like. Seeing if we really want to push the issue now. 
gosh, look at that liquidity received right into those 65s. Big whole mess of liquidity here. If we actually break through that, I'm going to be pretty confident here. Watching. The big volume shelf. If we actually flush 60s, I mean, this thing gets super heavy here. But a lot of ifs. I didn't like how much liquidity we showed right there into those 65s. A lot of big covers there into those 65s. I'm watching here at 70s. And yeah, there's still... Looks like a lot of folks going bid to cover here. All right, let's see if we're rejecting 75s. Trying to get a little aggressive in this one. I'm curious how many folks would be covering right here before the print too. And we have to keep an eye on how aggressive this print is going to be as well. So I'm trying to see if we can auction back below those 70s. And see if we can intercept any of that liquidity down there at 65. So seeing if 75s reject here. Back up to 75. Rips, what data feed are you using to know they are covers and not buy positioning? I'm, I'm using book map here, John. That's uh, pretty much the uh, my tool, my weapon of choice here when I'm battling these markets. Okay, now I need to see 70s starting to trade out here. Yeah, I saw a lot of liquidity intercepted right there at 65, which I don't like. But if we defend 75s here, we could find a way to actually get aggressive through these 70s. So we are less than three minutes now until that newsprint. So that's likely going to shake things up. We'll see if we can actually nail this pre-print here. Good chance that we could sweep liquidity back towards 918 as well. So I'll have to be uh, on the ticket there. I have bookmap, but how do I know there are covers? Uh, it's a lot of experience with watching it, just knowing how the tape reacts when it's bid to cover or just market to cover. And, uh, you know, you'll, you'll get there with experience. I, I highly recommend watching the replay mode if you have the standalone version of bookmap. You record in replay mode every single day, and then you go back and you watch the game film. So watching here right around 70s. Again, we have uh, timing is not on our side here, unfortunately, because it's right at uh, two minutes until the print. So unfortunate that timing is not exactly on our side here, but let's see if these 70s start to trade out. Less than two minutes here. Might have to reduce into these 70s, just seeing how this is trading out here. Yeah, order book is kind of getting cleared out here. Try to cover a little bit there. Actually, I covered two more. So two more out there. Didn't get exactly what I wanted, and we're cutting it very close to that print here. We're about, yeah, there's <laughs> there's what I wanted. <laughs> uh, just cutting it very, very close to that print. It's very, very risky. I don't want to hold eight contracts into that print, and I was happy to work it out there on those 70s. But there's a good chance that we can just get shaken out on this thing because the prints are going to be pretty, uh, pretty wild here. So we have our stop right there. See if we get pulled out on our stop basically be a flat trade here. Uh, today is definitely not CPI day. <laughs> yeah, no CPI today. And there we go. Uh, we've been uh, been stopped out there. We, ha we do have the Canadian CPI data. It's not the US CPI data. So Canadian CPI, not as important as US CPI. All right, so let's see. And we can fare on this print here. Five seconds. Wow. Glad we uh, were able to get out of that. That would have smoked us. 1.3 million. So below the 1.5 million for housing starts, which is good. Or 1.3 million. Yeah, under. Yeah, 1.5 was the estimate there. Let's see if we can nail this below 70s again. 
If this does flush below 63, this thing is gonna start to boogie. You can see there's 65 again, big, big amount of liquidity there at 65s. We just have to break below that to see this lower. Yeah, look at that, wow. And it stopped out there. So giving back our small gains there. CPI at 0.6% for Canada. Now we are starting to see a monster squeeze here. Wow. Let's see if it uh, continues above this volume shelf into the 900s. Getting a little whippy up here. Break out of the 900s would be pretty strong, but I do expect this to kind of whip around here. Watching. Yeah, the 65s there were kind of the tell. I'm going to try this long here above 900s. See if we can... Hold on to this move. We got an god awful fill there at 904. Seeing if we get back above these 900s. Very, very whippy here. Just getting a little chopped around. See if we can bounce this at all right around 8 and 90s. Starting to light up a little bit here. Watching 900s again. We get above, back above 900s, this thing can start to get back up towards those 918s, but not looking like it wants to go just yet. Seeing if we have anything to buy into dip-wise here. Watching. Aggressive selling into those 890s. Nothing really shown in the equities right now, so we might just come out of this one. At this stop. Stops right there at 889. So stopped out there. Seeing now if we have uh, this pulling back below that 890 area. If not, I'm gonna get back in here for that retest of 900s to the top side there. I wanna see uh, when we show some big, big bids stepping in here. That's where I wanna join that for a retest of 900. And if we don't see any bigs, big bids stepping in, Watching around 873 will kind of be the key for what we're looking at here. So there's a little bit of bid side activity there and looking for this to retest these 900s. Watching here. Wow, look at how choppy this is. This is so choppy, my goodness. Adding right here for this push back up into 900s. Liquidity is kind of subsiding a bit here. Yeah, heavy sellers there. And seeing if we can add right before 880 here. We have the opportunity. Some big bidders stepping in at about 85. Watching here. Adding into that right there. See if we can hold this push back up. Definitely very, very risky here, but I'm here for it. Let me see if we get that retest in 900s. Big liquidity sweep back up to the top side here. Wow, <laughs> look at how fast that whip. It tapped 96 and then the next print was 90. So a six handle whip there. This is very, very whippy stuff. Very, very risky. There's that 900 test. Watching here. These rejections are so harsh. You can see that. It trades into 900s and we're already back at 94. Like six handle whip like it's nobody's business here. I just want to see a connection through those 900s now. And potential uh, retest of 918 to the top side. So watching here. Still not holding above 900s for now. Yeah, this is not the cleanest price action. Be curious to see what the, uh, the New York session is gonna give us in the way of price action. It's very fickle and not a lot of follow through here. Let's see if we break these 900s now. Okay, through 900 here. Without any kind of pullback would be what we're looking for. And nice, wow, look at that big seller stepping in there. 
They're holding 900s temporarily, but big, big seller right there above 900. Did not like that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to pull out four here. So out four, not liking the price action. Have to reduce my size, was carrying six contracts in that. Back above 900s here. Really wanna see us retesting those 918 quarters, because above that, it would really start to squeeze here. Okay, there we go. Now we're starting to get that squeeze. Yeah, it's it's difficult for me to trust this. Anytime we're we're getting these uh these pops, we're getting, you know, six to ten handles and pullbacks here. So it's very, very uh tough for me to trust this, unfortunately. As bad as I want to start hitting the gas in these trades, it's just very, very choppy here. Yeah, like Matthew says, still a see profit, take profit type of market. I agree with you 100 percent Look at that. Big old pullback there. I mean, we tapped 906, we're trading 895 now. Crazy move. S&Ps are still looking strong. S&Ps are looking strong. Equities look like they're kind of bottomed out here. So I would love to be able to hold on to this for as long as we can. Especially for a break above 918 would be juicy. Nobody wants to be the first one in the pool here. You're seeing this, uh, the way that the liquidity is pushing and pulling here. Nobody really wants to be the first one in the pool here to really start to tap above 900 here. And I'm not seeing super thick offers that are defending it. It's just that it's just lower liquidity. Nobody's really wanting to be the first one. And I don't know, they just haven't turned on many of the, uh, the market making machines right now. No, there's not a lot of liquidity being offered on either side. So it's extremely thin actually, which is surprising. It's not like there's a lack of inventory. It's just that nobody wants to do it. Uh, Rips, massive sellers hitting the tape. Please be careful like someone knows something. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, it's, I'm not really seeing that. I'm seeing it's more uh, a little soft on the liquidity side, side right now. That's what we call sack. I mean, not really. I mean, we realize a little bit of profit on that, but I certainly, call, certainly wouldn't call that a sack lunch, unfortunately. Goldman Sachs is offering some five-year notes right now. <laughs> yeah, turn the machines back on. Would love to see that. I would love to see some machines being turned back on here. But look at this. The way that it's, that it's pushing and pulling this liquidity is super thin. I mean, this is moving around on one and two lots right now. Lost my activity last week. Haven't activated my other account yet. Going back to the drawing board. Well, take it easy. No rush. No time limit on this. Rips, you use DX feed for your book map. I use Rhythmic. I love Rhythmic. A lot of people hate it. I love it. I only get like two problems a year with Rhythmic. Okay, a little bit of thicker offers into these 905s, but let's see if we can get a nice clear out here. <laughs> Nobody wants to be the first one in. We come up to this area and it's all of a sudden we go from like printing two lots. I mean, look at these bars right here. Look at how disgusting this is. I mean, given this is the 30 second chart, but just look at how disgusting this these prints are. It's, this is just ridiculous. Does Rhythmic offer for stocks also? Uh, I don't think so. I think Rhythmic is only futures. Uh, if you want uh, stocks, you can get DX feed or you can get, uh, oh gosh, what's the main one I used to have? There's a nice little breakout there. I would just love to be able to hold this, like get a breakout of 918 quarters and just be able to hold this. That would be ideal, but I don't know if we're going to get that. Big bid on 63 there, uh, 68, 67 lots. See if they flip this out into a market. Yeah, look at that. There's actually people that are selling into that, surprisingly. It's fascinating watching this right now because we're going from very thin liquidity to all of a sudden very thick liquidity and you have to wonder if it's the same market maker that's just doing this to kind of fake people out here because big uh, big bid there, 70 contracts and just absorbed and then it's like all of it goes away immediately. Nobody's nobody's trading anything anymore. It's like one single lot. Dolby's in there selling. He very well could be, couldn't he? Dastardly Dolby selling again. DXV does do stocks. Yeah, but there's also another one. Uh, Omni, Omni, Omni Flow or Omni something that I used to use all the time that was great. And it was, just, uh, it was awesome. It's like the, the NASDAQ book. It was great. Forget what it was called. Omni Flow or something like that. Omni Feed. Thank you. Thank you there. Uh, Club Arega. Thank you. Yeah. Omni Feed. Dolby got a hold of the house account. Yeah, maybe it's him. <laughs> Omicron, <laughs> different thing. Market makers don't do that, Ribs. Watch more times. <laughs> yeah. Never. They're they're very honest stand-up folks, right? They never do anything. 
It's Dakota slinging 30 lots. Very well could be. Uh, Iranian deputy oil minister is visiting Moscow. Latest news there. My runner will probably get murdered. Why is that's probably a good thing? I mean, if you have a runner long here, you're gonna do well, right? I think you'll do well. All right, folks, let's get those likes up on the video. If we get it up to, uh, let's say 1200 likes today, we'll definitely do a giveaway. Let me hit the restroom really quick. I'll be right back with you folks. And we're back. What do we miss? <laughs> Market's still uh, <laughs> doing nothing, doing loop de loos going up, going down, going up, going down. You know what time it is, folks. It is 8.43 in the morning. You know what that means. It is time to grab a silver bullet, crack a cold one. <laughs> it's time, folks. <laughs> TV. <laughs> Mmm, that's delicious. <laughs> Silver sandwich. Oh goodness. Oh yeah, we are uh we're sitting up here. We are up uh <laughs> we're up $715 unrealized here. I'd really like to see the above the uh, 918s here. That was kind of the uh, the point of contention that we had earlier, and if we get above that, we could really start to get squeezy. Very, very squeezy over here. Let's see how this uh, shakes out. I would like to add over 918 if we start to get extra squeezy. There is so much liquidity above that too. I mean, we have liquidity all the way up to 933 and three quarters. Reps, we be getting that course sponsorship. Ugh. <laughs> that makes me want to throw up just thinking about it. <laughs> hey, Reps, why don't you move your stop in the profit? Uh, we will. We're just letting this work right now. I want to see this thing get up and over uh, 918. That's what I really, really want to see. I'm seeing a little bit more squeeziness here. That's a technical term, by the way, squeeziness.
Let's see how uh, deep this pullback is. That's going to tell us whether or not we have the strength to push through. Because look at this. We are just battling at these, this 918s. We started the stream right here. And here we are back at those 918s. Got everybody nice and short. And then there we go right back up to the top there. What flavor of monster today? Uh, we're doing Celsius. We're back on the Celsius kick. And it's another water may own. <laughs> totally could see ribs in a beer commercial. Yeah, I wouldn't be drinking it though. <laughs> Kelpie. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ribs, where can we see photos of your desk setup? I thought it was on Instagram. Yeah, I mean, I could post it again, I suppose. I'll post it right now. Let's see. You want to see what I'm rocking with over here? Let's do that. I don't know why that doesn't work there, but my trading station. All right, here we go. Bam. Now post it to my story. Oh, we pulled back there. I could have added right above those 900s. Let's see. Back to uh, this right here. The level to level action is real, yet I don't take the trade hilarious. Well, I'll find a way to journal about it. Let's get a breakout of 918 quarters. I'm here for it. Who else wants a breakout of 918 quarters? I know I do. <laughs> Show me that breakout of 918 quarters. <laughs> yeah. What was that? What was it called? Was it like Schlitz? Dude, what was that called? Schlitz liquor? Schlitz something? Or. Schultz, that's right. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, meme, show me the money. <laughs> there you go. KG Dana, good to see you. Come on, 918 quarters. I love the uh, the emojis in here. We were able to add some more emojis, by the way. I guess the more memberships that we get, uh, the more emojis that we can add here. So outside of that news this morning that we had, which, by the way, wasn't all that impressive, uh, Canadian CPI came in. Let me just give the uh, the numbers here. Canadian CPI came in at 0.6% month over month, year over year at 2.9%. So in line, year over year, month over month, 10 basis points cooler. And let's see here. We have a treasury four and eight week bill announcement and then a 52 week bill auction. So 52 week bill auction is likely going to move the markets around there. Hey, good morning, host logic. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Schlitz Mall Liquor. <laughs> who makes it? Are they the ones who make Old English? I mean, that stuff. Ugh. That stuff was like drinking gasoline beer. That was the worst. <laughs> yeah, I did too. I had, I used to do uh, have that garbage. Just terrible. Ribs, how do I become a member? Asked Travis. There's a join button. Can anybody point that out for uh, what you would call it? For Travis? There's a join button, like right underneath the video, or you go to the channel, and there should be a join button there. Ooh, old E with orange juice. Man, I forgot about that. Jeez, that's a blast from the past. Yeah, a lot of those uh, disgusting ways to consume that stuff. The pee bottle for Amazon drivers. I hope they're not drinking and driving. Yeah, Tim, that's what we're talking about in the Discord, surprisingly. <laughs> Paps Blue Ribbon, oh yeah. I think there's a there's like a hipster movement where people enjoy drinking Paps. Tried to buy a book map, would not complete order? Oh, I'm not sure. Did you get the, uh, well make sure you use that coupon. Get 20% off, MC20. They brought out a new Four loco. seriously? Yeah, so glad to be sober, you and me both. I don't miss drinking at all. I. I mean, it, I didn't even plan on like going cold turkey or anything, but I just stopped drinking. And then I was like, hey, I don't really miss this. Yeah, the join button next to the subscribe button. Yeah, there's a join button right there. Mad Dog. Oh, my goodness. I forgot about Mad Dog. Oh, my goodness. So many garbage ways to poison yourself. <laughs> yeah, Mickey's. That used to actually be my thing. Mickey's with the B on it. Oof. Stuff was disgusting. <laughs> Proud to be a year plus sober with you. Nice, Dylan. Yeah, I mean, I didn't miss it at all. 
three and a half years for you, Jim. I, I honestly, I, I didn't, I wasn't going into it like, oh man, I'm gonna never drink again. I just stopped drinking and then I was like, dang, I haven't drank in a while. And then I was like, I feel great. And then uh, I think I went to a function with the wife or something and they had a bartender and I was like, ah, eh, I'm good. Again, 918's giving us some, uh, some overhead resistance here. Are we gonna come right back down after not being able to plow through that level? We are tapping down here in these low 900s. I could try for a little bit of an add down here and try to get a little tricky. I mean, I just don't like that we're not breaking through those 918s just yet. We are 10 minutes till the top of the hour. I am gonna be on Top Step TV today, by the way. I'm gonna be on Fast Markets. I'm not gonna be trading exit phase. I'm only gonna be trading combines. Sorry to disappoint. This is, I mean, just how I'm trading this morning. It tells me all I need to know about how I'm gonna be facing the market today. So I know right out the gates that I'm, I haven't earned the right to trade my uh, exit phase today. So I'm gonna stick with trading combines. The price action was cleaner and more congruent than I'd maybe changed my opinion on that. But the way that things are shaking out here, good golly, those 918s. Anybody catch the, uh, the, the rejection off of 918s and short into that? I'm too stubborn to do it. I just want it so bad. I want those 918s to, to trade up there. Let's see if we get back about these. Uh, did it on the, the YM. Nice. Grant, Waleed caught it. Nice. That's a monster trade station. Are you running two bookmap sessions? How much memory are you running? I have uh, 128 gigs, DDR5, running at 5600. And a uh, 13900K processor. I'm going to add right here. A little bit of an add. Oh, we actually have four. Wait. Oh, shoot. I meant to add one. And my quantity is set to two. <laughs> I meant to add one lot. Maybe it's going to work out. Let's see. I meant to add one dang lot. That was a good add, though. Let's see if we hold above these 900s. Show me a little squeeze above 900s, and we can get even perkier here. Right now, we're rejecting. Nice amount of RAM there. Yeah, you need it for when you're doing all this stuff. But uh, yeah, the, it's a RTX 4090 that's powering all three of those screens. It's a 57 inch at the bottom, 49 inch at the top, and then a 34 inch on the side. And if you wanna see it, just go over to my Instagram, which by the way, if you don't know where my Instagram is, it's gonna pop up right here. There it is, at Selling Rips. By the way, that's, that's, you have to follow that account if you ever wanna win a free month at Clubhouse or free Top Step Combine. If you build the setup yourself, I did. I like building them, it's fun, I enjoy it. Look at this, we have some offers getting heavy above those 900s here, but the moment we tap into them, they all get scared and we pull it. So I don't know what the idea is today, to be honest with you. Nobody wants to be the first one in. Everybody's kind of like trading scared. We get big pushes and pulls of liquidity and then it evaporates. And that's kind of, that's why I'm saying I don't want to trade X of phase today. The way that the liquidity is coming in and then just immediately disappearing makes it really hard for me to read this stuff. I hate all the social media apps. I'm a minimalist. I only want one. <laughs> I, you know, I, before uh, being on here and all that, I'm not a social media person. I'm uh, non-existent in social media. I don't like to be on social media for my own personal stuff, but for this stuff, it's, you know, kind of got to do it. <laughs> Do you think it's gonna be a market maker day after yesterday's big flush? Hmm. I mean, it's a good question. I just don't like how the uh, liquidity is being added and taken away from the market right now. It makes it really difficult for me to read. I mean, ideally, I'd just like to leave a trade on and let the trade work and get some nice congruent price action. But, you know, okay, so let me show you here. We're gonna go to the one minute. Let me go to Amazon's chart. This is the type of stuff, right? It's just incongruent. Oh, whoops, we're not even showing that. There we go. Just incongruent gross price action. Just really, really nasty stuff. I don't like that. And it should be better than that. I mean, <laughs> this is not the best example. These are your uh, late prints, by the way. Your late orders. But yeah, it's not uh, nothing I like right now. So let's see uh, if we can actually look at this. We kind of have that double top there. And we're trying to see if we can break back into this range of liquidity back above these 905s. Where's this account where he posted his setup? Selling rips doesn't seem to have it. Uh, it's on my story, Jeff, if you watch my story. Redbook retail sales are out. Wow, look at that. Market's moving on Redbook retail sales for once in their life. <laughs> 
Uh, so you're having problems connecting your top step login with your Ninja Rhythmic. Got Trader Page out here doing top step support. Thanks, Trader Page. Canon put a link for your system. Uh, I, I mean, I built it myself. It's not a pre-built. <laughs> Where the heck is the story? If you click on my profile picture, it'll uh, open up the stories there. Just scroll through all of your reels before finding it. Drop a comment on one of those reels. It helps the algorithm out tremendously. Well, let's see. Can we actually hold above these nine tens now? That's uh, kind of our next area here. I mean, I just kind of want to be safe and just, as I'm saying that, I was just going to say, I kind of want to be safe and pull out a couple contracts here. And the moment I said that, it, it instantly flushes down six handles. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's just, this is the worst price action. <laughs> Rips put on X. I'm not going to do IG for any reason ever. Um, I'm I'm on X as well. I'm happy so rare I get a runner working for me. Yeah, but I mean, is it really working? Look at this. Look at this price action right now. Like we we tapped into nine eleven up there and then immediately just fades straight down. We get a twelve handle flush for absolutely no reason, mind you. Absolutely no reason. Uh oh, the setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you, Tim. Good golly, this is garbage. Looks like we're actually gonna get stopped out after all of that uh holding and being patient. Good golly. Could be building a shelf to go lower. I agree. I mean, the way that it's it's chopping around, it's not it's not reclaiming those 918s. I mean, I agree with you 100 percent See if we can get a little firepower here above 900s. Oh my goodness, it's crazy how fast they're pulling these orders in the book right now. It is not normal what we're seeing right now. This is just the worst. Let's see here. Get a little push up above 900s and hold. Can you do it? <laughs> I don't even get a chance to process the thought. I mean, I'm sitting there thinking, uh, well, if it starts to roll 900s, I kind of want to come out of two contracts there. and. The moment of that thought connects in my brain, we're already down seven points. It's crazy. It's crazy how bad this price action is. Why not pro preo tech entry? I'm. What do you mean? Uh, there goes the last two combines for me on that long entry. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe uh, tune down the amount of contracts you're using. For the love of God, turn the bots back on. That's what I'm saying. Look at that though. We have thick liquidity now at 96. Yeah, this is looking like this wants to roll. I might just come out of the position here. Let's see if we get a little, yeah. I'm just gonna pull out two and just cover the rest. Whatever. Ah, yeah, just uh, not liking this price action right now. Kind of double topping there at 918 quarters. And it's just tricky to read this because the way that they're adding and pulling liquidity from this is just not conducive with my type of style here. It's the new ages of 2025, not trading anymore, but teleporting orders, <laughs> tell me about it. I mean, look at the way that, going over to bookmap, I mean, just looking at the way that that liquidity was just contracted there. I mean, yeah, let me scoot this over. Big gaps of liquidity, and then it's just like, the, the orders, um, the bid and the offer are changing around, but then it's like, it's just awful. All right, Feds Jefferson is about to speak right now. Let's see if we can get any trades on that. Yeah, just gone off a price action here. Quick sweep of the 30 minute double bottom, then back up. Maybe, maybe. I mean, we double topped, we double bottom. We're just doing this, this very tight gross range right now. Might have to wait until we're on Top Step TV to trade. By the way, let's see how many likes that we got here. We are currently at 859 likes. Well, if we get a couple more, we could definitely do a little bit of a giveaway here. What time am I going to be on Top Step TV? In about yeah, 15 minutes here. Got up about 15 minutes. What time frame is your chart? Um, this is any time frame I want. I can squeeze in and out of this thing and pick any time frame I want. This one over here, this is a 30 second chart, but not because we're trading off of it, just so you can see all of the uh, trades that I'm taking, the entries and the exits. Because if we had this at, let's say, a 15 minute chart, no real value for you as a viewer. You can't really see what's going on there. Wow. Hold on, that's Jefferson. Oh, 
Uh, restrictive stance. Hold on. Outlook is uncertain. We're going to hold the restrictive stance. Oh, my goodness. And the algorithms really like that to the short side initially. And I'm going to get this back over to the 30 second. And stopped out there. Oh, so we shorted the bottom, got flipped out of that one. Uh, the, the market really didn't like it. Uh, he said data suggests inflation is more persistent. We might hold rates here for longer. I was trying to nail that uh, on that flush down to potentially 873. So 880s were bid up there. Watching here at 900, seeing if we have any kind of rejection back here at 900s. But, uh, you know, we said this about 20 minutes ago. Certainly not going to trade my XFAs today. Happy to make a mess in my combines. But this is why we're not trading. Uh, I mean, this type of price action, my XFAs would be a death sentence. What's up, Dolby? How you doing, buddy? Let me try that short again. Mm, Vilroy is saying that he expects a June rate cut. That's ECB. I'll try this short here through the 890 area. Uh, wait, what's going on here? Are these accounts working? What is going on here? My replicano is freaking out. <laughs> it's freaking out, man. What is going on here? Just trying to get some trades going. I got like all these different lights flashing at me right now. I just want to trade here. What's going on? Good golly. Pets heads are falling off. Is this trade live? Like this, this looks good to me. It's just slow to update on my NinjaTrader uh, equity panel here. Let's see if 80 start to give. Is that working at least? Okay, taking that one off, there we go. Seems like it's working. Wow, look at that bounce right from the 80s. Perfect timing, beautiful. <laughs> Unbelievable. A lot of uh, chatter right now on the squawks. IMF updates the world economic outlook right now, waiting for those numbers to come in. Wow, this is some crazy chop right now. Let's see if we have uh, under 900s that we can short into here. If we break 80s to the downside, this will be a tremendously strong trade. If we can just snap those 80s to the downside. So that's what I'm going to be watching for. Extremely thin liquidity, mind you. But, I mean, if we can rip through those 80s, we have room down to, I mean, 70 flat. There's a bidder there that we might want to probe. Mm, not looking the best. Apple's kind of waffling. Meta's kind of waffling. Not seeing anything in the equities where they're trying to pull anything yet. We'll be on Top Step TV in about, eh, we'll call it about 15 minutes here. So let's see if we can get this resolution down to the 70s before we get there. That would be ideal. A little bit of a flush. Very thin on the bid side when we start to flush and then somebody just slaps the ask super hard with like a 20 lot and then all those bids evaporate or they firm up rather, I should say. Can I see Delta number of contracts on Bookmap? Absolutely. Right now, Delta is negative 6,700 in the NQ here. Okay, let's see if we can flush these 80s. As I say that, we get a big old bounce here. Let's watch. Can we get that flush through the 80s without that big old bounce? Would love to see some congruent price action here through these 80s. Would be ideal. Let's see, let's see. Right now, wrestling these 85s. Adding into that for that tuck below. Let's see if we get this 80 pull now. Testing 80s again. Super thin, but if we get this flush, it should be glorious. Why is one of these not copying? It's so strange. One of these is like not copying or something. That's so weird. One of these has just stopped copying. That's really annoying. Which one is this? Let's see. I rarely ever have replicanto problems, but today is definitely that day where I'm having replicanto problems. And that's kind of distracting me here. All right.
right, coming back down, just low these 90s. Very happy to not be trading my XFAs. Having a multitude of tech problems, terrible order flow. Yeah, just everything is just not, uh, not conducive today. See if we can get this final dump below the, uh, the 80s here, and that would be ideal. It's uh, definitely a, a big difference from what we saw yesterday in the price action yesterday here. So a big turnaround from that. So looking for this to pull down below the 80s. And this is on exactly like zero liquidity here, by the way. So like seeing this come down and we're running into like a two lot and then it immediately will bounce like five handles on like, I mean, if you're watching the time and sales, you can see exactly what we're talking about here. Uh, the bid and the offer are moving quite a bit, but then the amount of liquidity that's actually printing is quite low. Yeah, so coming back up here, back above 890, right back down. We printed 97s, now we print 90s, instant seven handle flush here. It's crazy. Very, very choppy. All right, I'm probably going to end up locking it up here. Get over to uh, Top Step TV. I mean, we're not getting that resolution below the 80s here, unfortunately. So I'm probably going to lock it up here. We didn't get enough likes for a giveaway. I'm just checking here. We got to uh, 944 likes. We're very close. We're very, very close. But yeah, I'm going to go skitter on over to Top Step TV. That's where I'm going to continue trading as well as obviously in the Discord. But yeah, I would say, folks, if you have an XFA, I would not be trading that today. If you have a live account, I would not be trading that today. This price action is liquid hot garbage right now. I'm not liking this price action whatsoever. It's it's not, it ain't pretty. It's just ugly. <laughs> now, will we get the flush of 80s? Knock, knock. Perhaps, maybe. Once in a lifetime here. Anyway, yeah. All right, folks, I'll catch you over on Top Step TV's uh, YouTube channel. Let me go ahead and drop the link here. Let's do a little rips raid over there. Let them know. <laughs> there you go. There it is. And uh, I will catch you folks on Top Step TV. Good luck, everybody. Don't trade. <laughs> I would say unless you're in the pocket, don't be trading those XFAs. It could be a dangerous, dangerous game today. Take care, everybody. And I'll see you uh, folks here on YouTube tomorrow.